be from behind. Where are the hands feet on this side of the table? The box is I really don't have very much to say. This is the first time I'm here. Okay. You need your name and address. My name is Deborah Fontanomas, and I'm at 35 Kaminsky Street. <coughs> I just want to let you know that um, I, I was surprised to see the increases. For example, my husband looks at Toby Hanna. They had a three-year pay, three year pay freeze, and in October they signed another two-year pay freeze. Five-year pay freeze, no cost of living, no nothing. They're laying off left and right there. They're saying you should be glad to have a job. In the meantime, they don't have a van pool for night shift because they cut off, you know, uh, a lot of people. There's only five people at night time. My husband's one of them. So he's paying six hundred and fifty dollars a month of gas to get there, and he didn't even make forty thousand dollars a share. I am a worker. I worked all my life, but I got very hurt, and I'm sick. I have $19,000 of medical bills, and I have medicine I can't even pick up because I need to work. And my heart's so broken because I put my kids through college. One works for forensics for the government, and the other one's a pharmacist. But I had to hand them over for what I was paying, and I feel bad, but I had to do it because we couldn't do it anymore. So in the meantime, my husband worked at Technoglass. He worked there 15 years, and do you know what he's going to get when he, retire, when he retires? $175 a month after 15 years of working there. So every job my husband worked at went overseas. So therefore, I'm not working. We are in under our house so bad. I used to pay $500 a month and over $1,000. I just had a remortgage it. We're hanging by the thread. We lost absolutely everything. So when I saw in the paper things were going to go up more, I almost dropped dead. You know, I, j I just could not believe it because I can't do it anymore. You know, we used to go out to dinner, you know. I haven't been on vacation for 30 years because I put two kids through college. I did what I had to do. And these are supposed to be my gold leaders, but I never thought I'd get an illness and get very hurt. But people like me, there's a lot of people that are older, and even my grandmother, 800 a month, they got you down mortgage. I'll be 86 now when my house is paid for. And I can't afford another penny. You know, I have medicine at CVS right now for a week I can't even get. And, you know, and the, they respond, they're very good they respond when I call this problem. I have to admit that. You know, I'm nothing against the police force, anyone, not whatsoever. But I know I can't do it anymore, and I don't want to lose my house. You know, and it's, it's really hard. And when I saw what they said, if I take a class, he would view me and say, this is the way it is. It's going to be a pay freeze, you like it, you don't. Forget with the contractors, left and right, they make the money. And uh, you know, with my husband, I have to thank God he has a job, even though he's paying a thousand dollar mortgage and six hundred and fifty dollars a month in gas. And yet he can't even buy a jalopy to go to work because we have nothing left. You know? He's lifted oil, he has no heat, and he has no air conditioning in his truck. Because there's nothing left, we're dying. Because you don't know tomorrow what to bring. You can get hurt so bad tomorrow lose everything. That's what happened to me. I lost a few thousand dollars a month by getting very hurt and sick. And you know, even with the recyclables, every time I look, it's recyclables, the sewer, the this, the that. And I, I just get right, I just can't handle it anymore. And it's hard. And we live not day by day, but minute by minute. And I'm just asking you if there's something that you please can do to make it easier. I would really appreciate it. I would really, just to see that the government, the government of defense, and I mean, what's more important than the government? You know, they don't care. They're, they close in for five years, no cost of living, nothing. And his insurance is astronomical. $19,000 on a medical list. So I just want to let you know, it's like, even the government is thinking it's rosy, you know, they're taking major cuts. So I thank you.